Hey, hey, everyone. What's going on? Darby here. Yo. And with Zachariah, we are talking about um, how to use this new long form content that Conversion AI just announced. So for the last few months, we've been helping people um, use Jarvis to help break through writer's block and write books at lightning speed. And this new long form content generator, I believe, is going to absolutely change the game for how people are writing books and getting um, you know, going through that writer's block and, and just getting the content out there, telling your story and, and creating a lot of impact in the world. And we're just going to kind of run through it, right? This is a test project. This just got announced an hour and a half ago. Um, so I want to kind of like play around with what does it look like in the first place to use Jarvis to write a nonfiction book? And to give you a little context behind it, what we've been doing in the, in the process we found when it comes to launching bestsellers in the nonfiction category is there is a proven process for this. And it's called the problem solving outline. And this is the basic idea of it. You have the, the, the what, the concept, the where, the why does it matter? And a lot of this gets answered in the first introduction of the book. But what we really need to start with is a title and an introduction so we know what we're talking about. Um, we don't have to follow this to an exact T right now, but what the purpose is, is that we we'll want to use Jarvis and the long form editor to kind of get the process rolling at a more rapid speed. Some people never get started with writing books because they don't even know where to start with the outline. And so this is kind of square one. And the goal of it is to take someone from step one, step two, step three, all the way to a conclusion. And for the example today, we're going to be working off the fly and uh, how to becoming a, a rock star drummer. Now, I used to be a drummer in a, in a former life, and I still am now. So we're just going to be playing off of this, this topic and um, going to kind of be bouncing these ideas around with, with Zachariah and seeing how we can do it. Zachariah has helped over 60,000 people publish books at his company, The Book Patch. Um, so he brings years of experience to this process and outlining. And so we're just going to be working this on the fly and walking through how you can use this tool to get your outline and get started writing your book with Jarvis. I'm so excited. I was at the, you know, obviously watched it today and um, I'm so stoked to see how we can bring this and you like utilize this through in our seven day uh, book writing challenge. Um, and it, let's play around with it. Let's dive in and, and see what we can create. Um, drumming rock stars new to me so i'm, I'm stoked <laughs> yeah and guys <laughs> we, we we do run um, um these week-long challenges called the seven day book challenge inside of our writing with jarvis course um if you guys would like more information on that comment below reach out to one of us and we'll send you the rest of the details but for now let's focus in on be how to becoming a, a rock star drummer first we're going to click on the the new form content and we're starting a new project um i'm just going to say is like how to how to become a rock star drummer. And let's just, let's just rock with it for a little bit, right? So this is kind of the idea. Obviously the more that you can put it up there, the better, um, but I'm kind of starting from the beginning and, and working from there, right? So how to be um, a rock star drummer, comprehensive guide. Um, and these are kind of ideas for like, what's the title, the overall theme of the book gonna be? Which one sticks out to you, Zachariah? Let's see. Um... Uh, three steps, five steps. I always like steps. So, but I don't know, Darby, you're the pro with 11 steps. Is that too, is 11 steps to becoming a rock star drummer? It's not super sexy, but we can roll with it. Yeah. 11 steps to becoming a rock star drummer. Let's do this. Let's say we wanted to make an ebook to help somebody um, become a rock star drummer. And we wanted to use this ebook to sell um, a drumming co course, course. Or, or, or something along those lines to get in front of more eyeballs for your main, your main offer. So I'm, and what I might actually say here is like how to become a rock star drummer. Um, and maybe the 11 steps to becoming a rock star drummer is like the subtitle is that, or is that too, okay. is that too much of a mouthful? Yeah. Yeah. I don't, uh, you know, generally we like to stay under, t under 10 steps. So maybe let's do. What, what if it was rock star was the title and it was 11 steps to becoming a, a superstar drummer or something. There you go. I like it. All right, so Rockstar, let's do this. Or <laughs> it's becoming a, a drumming god. There we go. Let's go, all right, cool. So now it's gonna generate the um, intro paragraph ideas. And this is just kind of combining some of the tools that Conversion AI has already got. So let's just look through here. 
And so you want to be a rock star drummer. If you're looking for the secrets, take your drumming skills to the next level, then this, this article is for you. Again, it's taking blogs, but we can morph it into the, the, the book context. Um, if you want to become a Ringo star, this is for I you. I heard Ringo star wasn't even a good drummer. Is that true? Uh, I mean, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a lot of money from the songs that he's been a part of. Um, but yeah, so you want to become here. If you want to be the next Ringo star, let's just start with this first one. I like that. So if you're looking for secrets to take your skills to the next level, this will give us, I think, a pretty good base to build off of, right? And so when we're looking at the, the idea of a book, like I'm looking at like each section would be its own chapter that we can expand on. So the question so is like, so let's move over here. Just pull this editor open. So title, do you want to place the title in there too? Can we do title, subtitle? Yeah. So here we got the content description. Um, I'm going to do this right there. Title. Actually, this, this, let's roll right here. Let's see what it, let's see what it, it, it starts us off with. So step one, get a good drum kit. This is most important because of that right here. All right. Um, for the, no, you're looking for secrets. So step one, right? So what, what we're going to be looking now is like, how can we build out the step-by-step -step format to actually build an outline that we can structure, right? So you're going to have your title, like we looked at over here. We've got your subtitle. So right now we've already got that. We got Rockstar, 11 Steps to Becoming a, a Drumming God. Um, and, and so we're looking here, it's like, cool, we got the introduction. Uh, typically the introduction is gonna be where like, you'd like to spend more time like adding in your own personal experience, your flavor, you know, expanding you know, on it with like blog post intro, um, AIDA framework. But you know, what I wanna do here is get an idea of like, what are these different chapters gonna look like? So right. um, that, let's just kind of get this thing going to the long format and let's just pump some stuff out and see how well it follows the steps and see if it's actually gonna, you know, Run that out so oh. talking about a lot of like drum kits Best drum kits you know steps so just along the Amazing. theme of this i need to get like now we know that it's going to expand on getting a good drum kit right so this is an entire you know drum kit set and so if i want to make step one of my book as being like what where do you where does where do you start if you want to be a drummer step one is you know get a good drums get a get a good drum kit so now what I want to do is since I've got an idea of how the book is going to be starting and I want to build on top of this, I'm going to actually come over here and, and do a, and do a, a blog post outline. And, and so I'm going to plot that right here. And it looks like it already kind of Im imported some of it because it's using this tool at the same time. Get a so drum kit, step, practice, step. practice. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. Fine. So, yeah. So it's like step one is like do this, right? And so I might look at it and say like, cool, if step one's get a good drum kit, then, you know, step one of that chapter is going to be get a good, good drum kit, right? And so let's just say we have eight chapters in mind that we want to fill this book out. And we've got, you know, want four sexes inside of each chapter. Like what happens if you want to join a band or start your own group, right? So like, like we could spend an entire book on just where, what looks like a good drum kit or it's like practice, practice. Like these can be different chapters all on themselves. Darby, let's expand on the drum kit inside of the blog post outline. So instead okay. of how to be a rock, a drumming rock star, drumming God, let's go to get, get a good drum kit or getting a good drum kit. So where, where would you put that? So scroll up mm -hmm. on the left, on okay. the left. Yeah. Blog post title topic right there. Uh, Topic no, no, ideas. No, no, no. Blog post outline. Go back to blog post outline, and then oh. blog post title topic. Okay. Let's expand upon the outline of that chapter, right? As as okay. so, instead of blog post outline, it's chapter. How outline. to get a how to get a good drum drum kit? Yeah, how to get a good drum kit. And then let's go with uh, Woody, or you know whatever whatever. Uh, maybe let's go. Can, cool. Can we, cool. Cool. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> All right. Let's see what let's see what Jarvis has to say. All right, so figure out what you want, shop for the best price, find a good place to buy it online or in person, check reviews and ratings on, on the product before buying it. Right, so this is just like kind of like the guide to like, hey, this is step one is like, how do we, so you of can- that chapter. Yeah, and so yeah. we could actually like step into each one of these, right? So the best drum kits are brands, Lamaha, Wid, and Pearl. So let's add in one, two, three, four, let's go expand in the long form of that chapter so this would be like your heading two tag so the, there's the there's the 
drum getting a good drum kit right then yeah. each each when we're teaching right and we're teaching the chapter outline right for not for the book but for the, for the specific chapter yeah. we normally tell people hey start with a personal story then start with a strategy of that chap then, then the then the strategy of that chapter beyond that then it's your actual what you're teaching right so mm -hmm. that's the four steps figure out what right. you want shop so around this for the is best story price. Like story, this is like. the actual story. Yeah. And then the conclusion, right? So, so that's just in the chapter. So now what you're doing, explain what you're doing a little so bit. So what you're I'm doing now is if I want to start with a story, I need some inspiration around it. I'm using this creative story tool to open up, um, you know, potentially what, <laughs> what, um, who had been sitting in her, I was 10 years old at the time, as long as I can. Wow, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. So, so make this, to get a uh, get a good drum kit, this is the most popular part about being a drummer. You can't be good at drumming if you don't have your drums, so make sure you just get them. So then go. you go into your story. So intro paragraph, right? Then we go into your story, which yeah. is I gazed into the mother's about 10 years ago, right? You could say about yeah. 10 years ago or 20 years ago, whenever, right? Yeah, yeah, 10, ten years ago, I gazed into the eyes of my my heartbroken right. mother who had been sitting and crying. I was 10 years old at the time. You know, I remember when I was, all she wanted to do was teach me how to play drums. The first thing it's, that popped in mind. It's definitely 20 years ago when you were 10. Darby. Oh yeah, don't try, to, don't try to lie about your hey, age. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey. It's been pulled out. Look at, look at these letters from Mr. Drummer Man. We read through and told him which about the drum shit. He made himself the trash can. He looked happy again. She called him up. Um, you know, called him up, but um, all she got was his voicemail explaining how to find and buy a good drum set. Cool. And so this is what it said. I wonder like here, I don't know if you would say that. <laughs> um, so uh, it's going to start wherever your cursor is, right? So figure out so what find you out want. what. I think you already have that. The best drum kits are made by brands, right? So this is like, yeah. So figure out what drum set you want, right? So let's take this and add it right here. So now step two, shop around for the best price or or let's just say like in your let's just see if it'll let's yeah. just see if it'll uh roll with if it already knows like yeah. you gotta start let's see let's see you see now it's it's so it's pulling it from way back there and so i'm wondering if it's like the first step is deciding here so it's repeating a lot of this so i think actually i need to put it in some sort of um if you highlight um, shop around for the best price will it do that let me see because yeah, shop around for the, no, I think, let me see, because I remember like when Dave was doing this, he was, um, yeah, it's definitely not. So maybe highlight and then compose if it'll, it'll, if it'll. Okay, so there we go. If you put these, these pounds, it's going to kind of start it from that, that section looks like. So unless we already said that up here. You know, rock star drummers are not cheap. You know, you should always shop around to the best price in your budget. It cost me this much. So it, a good price, cost, cost. Maybe it'll shop around for the best drum set in your in your in your budget. Drums. Let's try that. Delete the rock star. Yeah, let's delete that. Let me see. Here. Are all about making the drums look good, the pros. And see, it's taking this from up top here as well. Different sounding professional. Budget isn't really tight. You want to try something else out. Try highlighting just the shop around for the best drum set in your budget and then forming long form off that. Will it go off of just what's highlighted? Is it? No, it's not the highlight. It's about telling it where to actually go from here. Um, and okay. so. tight drums like that. 
So it seems like it's kind of locking itself in a loop, which is obviously a problem if you're trying to like build stuff out. And so, I mean, I think like the lesson here is like while the blog form content is going to help with expanding on stuff, it doesn't, if you try and skip the outline, you're going to end up with a kind of a jumbled mess. If you try to like just build on the fly, especially for like longer form stuff that you want to tie stuff into, right? And so if we're looking at the storyline for 11 steps to becoming a rock star, becoming a drumming God, you know, I kind of like, part of me is like, okay, like let's, let's like take it back to the beginning and see, um, like, like, so it's want to be a rock star drummer. This is the intro here. Um, these are, these are 11 steps to becoming a rock star drummer. And so what we could do here too, for more specifics, it, like to be more specific with it is like actually just put these right here and see if it'll right. actually come up with the steps, like all 11 of them. I think it says these is. Oh, these is. <laughs> these are. Uh, does it come up with 11? Seven. Seven. So maybe, maybe we just do seven steps then. You okay. Know? I, you know, we like seven. We use seven a lot. Seven day challenge, seven week, seven week book launch. It's I, good. So cool. Practice your drumming skills, learn the basics, join a band, any band that's possible. So it's going to be like a mixture of both of these, right? And so we're going to have like the 11 steps on top of it. So 11, six, buy a good quality drum set, use headphones when practicing. Okay, cool. So like, let's take this, copy it. Right there and then let's take this copy it right here practice your drumming skills same thing uh -huh. so that's the same thing kind of there learn the basic of drumming and how to read music um so we got music right here we got listen to your notation find a good teacher and you can help you with technique and theory yeah, um that could also be listen to your favorite drummers so add that after it because right, you want to do that before or as an as another step you know maybe not an addition another step yeah and listen, so this, yeah find a good teacher listen to your favorite drummers imitate their style yeah join a band and start one of your own find the right sticks for you so learn the basics i think that should go in between two and three right yeah totally um uh, list, of, list of songs that seems like it would go early on too yeah kind of one in there um cool getting pinged so find it one sticks about some good drum heads yeah so wait listen and imitate their style oh my god um record an album of the original song and band Hmm. Wood earner metal. You know, it was metal sticks. I've used those before. So these are like steps, right? For something like this. And so like, these are, these can obviously be used if you wanted to just keep this to be more of like a blog form. Now that the, the key, whenever you want to actually use this to write an, a book that you're going to put out there, even if it's just an ebook is like understanding the problems that you're solving. Right. And then, you know, a lot of the book process, you know, like you're taking it from a blog, a lot of books are just like really expanded blogs or different blogs that are kind of put yeah. together. Right? I mean, I would, I would say that, and we'll play around with this more. I know you're, we're on a time crunch here. Yeah. Um, it's, these are, I mean, these are post outlines. Outlines are chapter, chapter titles. So uh, we're going to play with expanding upon these chapter titles and i think we can i think we just got to play around with, you know I, I, yeah, I, I, I know we can get this to work here for an entire outline and get people you know a few thousand words if you think if we got a few thousand words i mean a book a nonfiction book is 
anywhere from 12 to 12, 15 to 20,000 words. So if Jarvis can help you get a few thousand words out in 10 to 20 minutes, I mean, that's the start of a really good book. Mm -hmm. So um, let's expand upon this even more. I, I want to give them just a taste of, of this and our students a taste of this long form content. Um, and uh, we're going to keep bringing the good stuff. So I'm cool. going to I'm going to play around with this with a couple of ghostwriters I know, and mm -hmm. uh, we'll 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 get even more and even more done. Yeah, and and it's just like guys again, awesome announcement the conversion I just made here. We're just getting our hands into this kind of thing, like this tool is not going to replace the ability to write like books as a human. It's going to help add fuel to the fire. It's going to help amplify what you're already working on. It's going to help you speed up and break through those different pro like different barriers are getting through, finding inspiration for stuff. And also like this conversion AI is not replacing Google Docs. It's giving you a doc that you can work on inside of their, their, their framework and stuff so that you're not having to bounce back and forth quite, quite as much. But we will find it when you're building out 10,000, 20,000 words using like frameworks like this that we have up here Inside of Google Docs, you can outline stuff a lot, like over here onto the left-hand side for organization being able to jump back and forth. It is gonna get very messy if you're building out a 20,000 word book strictly in here. And I wouldn't recommend that, right? And so like still use a Google Doc to your advantage, but organize it, flesh through ideas, get your outline kind of built out this way. And then, um, you know, just, you know, organize, organize, edit, refine, write with Jarvis and, you uh, should be off to the races. Cool. Cool. All right. We'll, we'll keep releasing something. We're going to be doing a couple of live, uh, live writing with Jarvis lives. So if you have questions or want to try it out, I know we just bought, obviously we, we secured the, the uh, long form content editor. Not everyone has access to it. So if you want some help, if you need some help with ideas, just uh, hop on the live with us and uh, we'll work with you. All right. Cheers. All right, guys. Cheers.